companies want persons who have experience so if you don't have a lot of experience you might end up having great difficulty in getting a engineering job and I don't know how them expect who will get experience if they don't give the opportunity to get experience so hi guys um today if you're wondering what i'm wearing i'm wearing my jersey football jersey from when i used to play interfaculty football in U at utec um for the engineering faculty today's video is about some of the things i wish people had told me um about working as an engineer i want to shout out jay for helping me with the ideas for this video the first thing that i want to discuss is to place emphasis on the whole safety aspect of working with you yeah, the same kind of attitude that you have uh, a university where in the lab and you have hard play and you have mess around and do all kind of things and you're distracted you cannot go into the working world with that kind of attitude as you leave through the gate something that they always say is that you leave your problems at the gate and you come in at the workplace your focus on what the job assigned to you is make sure at all times that you are in you adhere to all of the safety precautions you have to look out for yourself you're working in a high risk environment whatever kind of area make it have a large scale effect a lot of time persons are unable to really apply all of the knowledge and the theory that they learned in the classroom in a practical sense and on a larger scale I always have the mindset say it's a real life thing you're going into the real world and so you're going to have to be able to apply all of the theory in a practical sense to real life situations but at the end of the day when you mix human the human aspect of it with the whole theory part then they realize say is a whole different kind of ball feel because sometimes the machine is working as a machine should be working but then you have the human aspect that you have to take into consideration how is the operator operating the machine you have to be consistent and you have to be persistent with your effort there are many occasions many times when I literally a dream about work and a dream about the problem I have at work I'm going to be faced with a lot of problems and sometimes you can't go sleep so sometimes you get a problem and you're on the problem with a buffalo for hours, days and you probably put, um, exchange some word with a senior person or a senior person get involved and by a couple of um, minutes they, they know how to troubleshoot the problem they know exactly what area to focus on or they know how to resolve the problem Young engineers are going to have to deal with that with having a lot of people in the, work, in the workplace that you're going into who are more, who have more experience than you even those same persons that come and them have a lot of experience or whatever, they had to start somewhere. A lot of them start even lower than you. A lot of them started as even operators and so forth. And through years of experience and years of being there, that's something where you can't, you can't, you literally, you can't replace experience with theory. It has its place. You have to really know, say, you have to go devote a lot of time, a lot of effort, because a problem is not just a problem in and of itself all the time sometimes you have outside factors that influencing the problem always seek to look at all of the factors and never stop until you come to some form of resolution if you have to take a breather take a breather and come back to the problem but don't panic because when you're not calm then you cannot think straight and your whole job is to think it is it, it, it consuming energy wise and it consuming in terms of overall your overall life so yeah it, you don't really have no only for social life you don't really have a lot of time on your hands to spend with your family and your friends and sometimes not everybody will be cheering for you not everybody is going to acknowledge you and not everybody is going to even appreciate you so <clears throat> you have to basically have a strong mind know what your purpose is at the job and know what are the things that you're not going to be compromising for there are always going to be people who will cheer for you and there are always going to be people who will put you down 